Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, I'd like to quickly show you Delta Solo in Reaper. If you're not familiar with Delta Solo, it allows you to quickly hear the changes that a plugin is making to a track. Let's take a look. The project I've got open is a cover of War All the Time by Thursday that some friends and I are working on. Let's take a quick listen to a portion of the song. That's sounding pretty good to my ear. Let's bring up the mixer and select a plugin to see what Delta Solo does. I'd like to take a look at the Guitars Bus. The last plugin I've got in my effects chain for the Guitars Bus is Alpha Compressor by Alicia. This particular compressor has mid-side capabilities and I like to use it on my Guitars Bus to help control the center of the stereo field to make sure to leave enough room for the vocals to shine. I'll solo the track and bring up the plugin. Some plugins will have a wet dry knob built into the plugin, but Reaper also has a wet dry knob that allows you to control how much of any effect that you blend in parallel with the track. To engage Delta Solo and hear the changes that any plugin is making, hold Alt on PC or Option on Mac and left click the wet dry knob. I'll play that same piece of music again with the guitar's bus soloed, and once it hits the chorus, I'll engage Delta Solo so that we can hear what Alpha is doing to the guitar's track. If we take a look at the interface in Alpha Compressor, we can see that I've got mid-side mode engaged. With this mode engaged, the left side of the plugin affects the middle of the stereo field, while the right side affects the sides. Again, my primary function for using this compressor in this instance is to help control the center of the guitarist to make sure that I've got room for things that should be in the center of the mix. I'll play that same portion of music again with Delta Solo still engaged, and we'll be able to see and hear how much gain reduction is happening in the center. I'll start to increase the threshold and you'll notice that what we hear gets louder because we're hearing the affected signal even more. Let's take a listen. Now as I change the threshold on the compressor you could see here that our gain reduction went from about one and a half decibels to three decibels. Something to consider when using Delta Solo with a compressor is what we are hearing is actually what the compressor is turning down. This can be very useful in helping you to set side chains and other filters on your compressor and clearly hear what the compressor is doing. It's important to remember to disengage Delta Solo by clicking the wet dry knob again. If you skip this step, you'll only be hearing the changes that the plugin is introducing instead of the mix with the affected signal. Now that I'm done with that, I can take my guitars out of solo and hear the changes that I've made in context. Delta Solo can be used on virtually any plugin, and it's a great way to clearly hear the changes that the plugin is making. I hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me a Coffee, I Like Coffee, or Patreon link below. Check the link in the description to join us on Discord. And if you have any questions, be sure to drop a comment below. We'll see you next time. I wonder if they've already seen the videos on this topic that Kenny, John, and Aria did. Oh well, nothing wrong with having my own.